It just shows you that people have an insatiable almost appetite for celebrity news. That was Perez Hilton. I admit it, I go to his site occasionally. There is some pretty scandalous stuff about the stars on there. But how do he and the other bloggers get all of that information? And do they ever go too far? It can get really nasty. Coming up in a special report, we are taking you inside the world of celebrity blogs. Stay with us. Welcome back to Showbiz Tonight, TV's most provocative entertainment news show. I'm Brooke Anderson. Tonight, a Showbiz special report inside the wild world of celebrity blogs. They are websites that track stars every move. They're racy, controversial, and sometimes downright nasty. But they are very popular and getting more so by the minute. So how do they get their information? and do they go too far? Right here, right now, I'm blowing the lid off the secrets of celebrity blogs. Perez Hilton, defamer and gawker. They are the star blog sites that have turned entertainment gossip into an extreme sport where the stakes are high and the rules are hard to define. It just shows you that people have an insatiable almost appetite for celebrity news. And Perez Hilton feeds that appetite around the clock with his take no prisoners approach to star gossip. A photo filled feast marked with biting comments that leaves no one unscathed. Perez tells Showbiz Tonight people know exactly what they're getting when they go to his site. A raw and often nasty take on what's happening in Hollywood. I don't look down upon my readers. My readers are smart. You know, people throw the word power. I don't have any power. I have an opportunity. I have an opportunity to shine the light on celebrities behaving badly. And I have an opportunity to shine the light on those that get it right. Showbiz Tonight can tell you sites like his live on star scandals. And these days, there's no shortage of them. Celebrities love to behave badly. And their bad behavior is also what keeps Defamer.com going day after day, night after night. Same for Gawker.com. Reporting on the paparazzi photos of Nick Lachey and Vanessa Manillo stark naked while vacationing in Mexico, the headline read, Vanessa Manillo topless and poorly augmented. Ouch. What's great about a lot of celebrity blogs is that a lot of the stories and information you see in them would never land up in a celebrity news magazine, in a TV show, just because the information is too scandalous and it would just ruin a relationship for an established media outlet, whereas a blogger can usually get away posting anything they want on a website. Yep, anything. Stars in often unflattering positions and content that sometimes leads to lawsuits. That's sad. Perez Hilton is facing multiple lawsuits over his use of paparazzi photos, pictures that agencies say he posts without owning the rights to them. You know, I've had people sue me, you know, I've had a lot of things happen, but it's okay. I dish it. I can take it. It would be very hypocritical of me not to be able to. It's like a giant world of like an, unen an unending op-ed page. Born Ultimatum star Matt Damon tells Showbiz Tonight he's not a big gossip guy himself. He likes political and sports blogs. But hey, read what you like. That's the great thing about the internet. You take, you, you know, you go where, you're, where your taste steers you. Damon's Born co-star Julia Stiles says she avoids star blogs altogether. I can't even go there. I have a favorite blogger who is not like a gossip blogger. If they insult you, it can only be hurtful, and if they're complimentary, you have to believe the insults too, you know? I've had Nicole Richie come up to me in the coffee shop that I work at sometimes and come straight to my face and say, hey, call me anorexic to my face. You know, I had Tara Reid threaten to throw me in a pool at a party once. I had Jesse Metcalf say that he fantasized about killing me twice. He repeated it as if I didn't hear him the first time. So Showbiz Tonight wants to know, where does Perez get this stuff? You know, thankfully, I have a lot of people in my address book. I know a lot of people. I have a lot of friends. Uh, they're everyone from people that work at studios, people that are publicists, agents, managers, assistants, celebrities themselves, neighbors, dog walkers, people at clubs, bartenders, waiters, relatives, random readers that happen to take a picture that were at a club that saw something. Bloggers like Perez have changed the rules of the news game, making the need for immediate information more urgent than ever, and even forcing legitimate news operations to change the way they do business.
To compete with these blogs, a lot of these magazines now are adding video components to their websites, a lot more webcam aspects, because they really have to compete with the technological advantage that a lot of these blogs are doing. Well, some of them are doing a lot more than just merely posting a story. But Showbiz Tonight has to ask, are there any real standards in the blog world? There's room for everybody in the celebrity blogging world, and I don't, I don't have any problem with any of the competition. Molly Goodson of PopSugar.com, which is big on celebs but short on nastiness, tells us their most popular content isn't always scandalous. People love to see a happy family, which is great. So we love posting about, uh, you know, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner and their little baby Violet and Will Smith and Jada and their kids. People love to see them. Still, bloggers everywhere admit today's celebrity train wrecks like Lindsay, Britney, Paris and Nicole aren't hurting business. I think there is a, a number of reasons why they're so fascinating to watch. I think that uh, part of it is, of course, that they're so young and beautiful and rich and have everything at their fingertips, but seem to in some ways kind of uh, wasted, or is what people think is wasting it. The day that Lindsay Lohan was arrested, I must have posted almost 60 times on my website. Uh, you know, in the wake of that, PerezHilton.com got the highest traffic we've ever had. I had 8.8 .8 million page views in one day. That's kind of crazy. Definitely crazy. And as Perez will tell you, there is no downside. Well, maybe one. The only downside that I could see to celebrity blogs is maybe people are being a little less productive at work. <laughs> but I love it. And I thank you. She stood in the street, smiling from her head to her feet. I said, hey.